Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us for our next session of Facebook Live. Um, today, we're going to be talking with our tax manager, Barney, who's been with us before. Um, today, we're going to be talking about uh, tips for owner operators who can't pay their taxes. And with the deadline looming, there's probably quite a few in that, of you in that situation, and we're here to, uh, to help you out with that. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Barney for a second to kind of go through what to do in that situation. Um, thanks for joining us. Hi. So uh, first, thanks again to everyone who's joining us, whether it's live or uh, after, I guess, we're recorded, if you're searching for uh, a question on how to pay your taxes. Um, I want to first start out by just letting you know that you're not alone. Um, ATBS helps thousands of drivers uh, that are transitioning to becoming successful. And they have these same questions. How do they balance their budget? and uh, manage to pay their taxes while they also have the in front of them costs of maintenance and fuel and things like that. Uh, we have found that some simple steps that we'll try to cover today uh, can help put you on the road to uh, changing your way of thinking to include the cost and some simple patterns that you can follow to uh, avoid falling into the trap of getting too far behind on your taxes. We are going to cover some not so nice things that can happen to you with the IRS. Um, and we're really sharing that with you to give you the big picture so we can help you avoid any of those things happening. Great. Thank you. So uh, the first thing we want to talk about is just remembering to file your taxes on time or file an extension. Right. So this is um, a very simple concept that I really want to communicate. Filing your taxes is not paying your taxes. Yes, you're supposed to pay your taxes. As an independent operator, you're actually supposed to pay quarterly. But don't connect that with filing your taxes. Um, filing is getting you compliant and diligent. It puts you in a better pool of taxpayers to the IRS. They see that you filed. And your filing can say, look, I know you see I made this much gross money, but my tax return is to show you I had expenses and I need to be taxed at, a, at my net. So it's very important to separate filing from paying. And we're here to help you file your taxes, get that out of the way. And we're also going to talk today about some ways you can deal with what you owe. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the next thing, so obviously fire, file your taxes on time, but if you can't, the next tip is to make sure that you file an extension. Right. So um, the great thing about filing on time is you'll avoid a late filing fee. So that's the other reason to file. The extension will also help avoid a filing late fee. And if you're not prepared to file your tax return on time, you want to make sure it's done right and complete. By simply filing extension, it gets you from April 15th to October 15th. Again, this paperwork puts you in better standing with the IRS. It avoids late filing fees. It is not a replacement for paying the taxes that you owe, but it's still really smart to do, and it's easy to do with us. Great. Um, so let's say the deadline comes and goes and you haven't filed and you haven't filed an extension. The next tip we're going to talk about is not ignoring those notices that will come from the IRS. So I started by saying you're not alone. It is actually normal when you're concerned about what you owe to do nothing. And we see that with some drivers. They uh, freeze up. They're worried about what they owe and so they do nothing. And we're here to tell you if you file your taxes, even if your budget will not allow you to pay what you owe, you can simply send a minimal check to the IRS and even $10 is will actually put you in a better group of taxpayer. And don't think that's an insult to the IRS their computer system will show that you sent a payment in and you will now be in a pool of taxpayers that are communicating with the IRS and showing a payment. Um, 
If you don't file your return, it is possible you'll start getting letters from the IRS. The IRS do not call and threaten you day one. If you're getting calls, that is fraudulent people trying to get your information, and I wanted to share that. Never give your personal information out over the phone. The IRS has to follow a set procedure, and that is they send you a series of letters. Once you get the first letter, you do need to know that you're kind of on that train ride down the slippery slope. You want to share that letter with your tax preparer. We want to look at what the letter is saying, and we want to start taking remedial steps to correct what the situation is. You got to understand that just taking these letters and sticking them under the sofa is a bad thing because they're not going to go away and they do basically allow the IRS to take the next steps, which are levies, liens, and garnishments. A garnishment, once they get approval after a series of letters, gives them the right to actually intercept a portion of your pay. Even if you're an independent operator, they can go to the carrier who's paying you and get a portion or sometimes most of your pay. And that shuts the whole thing down. A lien is where the IRS posts something against an asset that you have. And that would prevent you from being able to borrow against it or sell it. A levy is also similar to a lien and it can also impact your income. If you do have a debt with the IRS, the sooner you call ATBS or another tax professional, the better your options will be. And that would help prevent some of these scarier things that could happen. Okay, and that brings us into our next tip. Um, tip number four is let the tax professionals help you out. And why, why is that a good idea? Well, if you work as an independent operator, contractor in a specific field, there's a long list of expenses and tax deductions that are specific to your industry. So tax experts who dedicate themselves to a specific industry are gonna be more successful in finding ways to significantly lower your taxes. On top of lowering your taxes, the tax professional can also help you work with the IRS, let them know you take it seriously, let them know you're working on it, and work on a calendar of events that you're gonna work on to get things processed with them. Just speaking to the IRS will actually give you more time. Um, at ATBS, we have an experienced team of tax resolution specialists. Uh, these are certified CPAs and enrolled agents that work on your behalf, and we negotiate ways to effectively reduce your tax burdens, and that reduces what you owe and what you have to pay. We have real cases of clients who've owed hundreds of thousands of dollars, and we've successfully had some of them settle for less than $500 due to hardships that we're able to prove. Uh, ATS clients often experience a huge sense of relief when they turn to us for help working through these tax resolution cases it kind of unfreezes them and we help them understand the process and help them just work through communication um, we can help you prevent potential tax problems and just move you forward if you run into any issues at any step along the way and if you have have had problems with paying too much in taxes or you've not paid taxes at all we really recommend you get some assistance from a professional. Great, that's all great information, thank you. So finally, um, what, what can be done if they just can't afford to pay their taxes? What's probably the best first step? I think we went through it, but just to re reiterate. Okay, so I mentioned this earlier, and again, we do see this with some drivers. They look at their total tax owed, they say, I can't pay it, and they do nothing. It is not an insult to go to the mailbox, we'll help you write the coupon, and send the IRS a dollar. If, it, if that is something you can afford, you can write a check to the IRS for one dollar, and I promise you, when you drop that check to the IRS for a dollar in the mail, you will immediately feel better. Just that act. And what we've seen over time is drivers who get into that habit on their own, 
they actually call me. I stop calling them, and they call me and say, hey, Barney, guess what I did? I mailed 200 bucks to the IRS. And I, I'm so happy for them because they kind of crashed through that barrier, that mental block. So just get that tiny baby step going, and we will help you do that. Great. Thank you so much. This has been very helpful. So um, with all of that being said, if you have any other questions for us, for Barney, please go ahead and type those into the comment section and we will um, answer those after the broadcast. You can always give us a call at 866-920-2827. Um, if you want to talk to somebody about uh, starting services with us, getting your taxes done with us, we are here to help uh, now through tax day and beyond. So um, be sure to give us a call. Look at, uh, Check our website, www.atbs.com, um, or just post your questions here in the comments and we'll get those answered for you as soon as we can. Barney, thanks again for being here. Appreciate it. Um, everybody out there, drive safely and have a good rest of your week. Thank you.